everybody, welcome back to another edition of Timber and Stone with JPT. I'm trying to figure out what Tomas is doing. He's just like randomly walking around. Like, I don't have anything else to do. I'm just going to walk down here and check out the beach. Should be in the hall while idle, buddy. So I got Ophelia headed over here. She's going to help me out, take out some of this dirt. Uh, miners can dig out the dirt blocks as well as anything else that might be bothering your getting around situation. So here in a second she'll trigger because I am digging this here. I'm trying to complete my road through the creepy forest area. She's going to take out these blocks for me here. I do kind of like to keep some distance on the sides of my stuff there. Let's see here. How are we doing so far? We got a couple grass blocks. We got some stone brick. Uh, got 36 wood, 107 on the food side of things and 12 arrows. So we're not doing uh, too bad. She is now a level two miner, which is very cool. You can check out where your levels are by going here. She's going to complete that. And now she's headed back because she's like, you know what? Screw this. I am done. So we are going to complete the link in that road. Here I built myself a little ziggy zaggy kind of road all the way out to this side of the map. So we are now connected on that side. Also, I built myself and see she's using the road, which is really cool. And um, people argue about this all the time. Do you actually have to connect your road to your hall? You do have to have a designation for your hall in order for the trader and other uh, migrants to come in. You do not necessarily, from what I know, have to put it inside your hall. You can connect it to it and it's just fine. I am one of those early adopters and I connect it inside because that just makes sense. I want you to come inside my hall. So that is how you do it. So let's see here. I'm double checking to make sure we're connected on all sides here. Again, roads are very important at the beginning of the game to make sure you're connected. Also, at some point, you're going to want to protect those. Also, built myself a road that comes all the way over here. Again, does kind of a little turn there and connects to this side of the map. That will only help increase your odds because it's essentially like a dice roll. You roll the dice and does a, a merchant come in, yes or no, and then they announce themselves on your little notification window down here. These guys are just hanging out still. Um, again, a stonemason is going to become important. Our fire is out. If you wanted to redo the fire, just right click on it. You can remove it or add two logs. But right now it is the afternoon and so we do not have to worry about it. Let's see here. Nicole is doing all right on the farm. Not great. Um, she is increasing her experience, which is very nice. I appreciate that. Again, I did put her as a quick learner. Uh, Ophelia back to doing the old uh, mining over here. These guys are just standing around watching. Come on, man. Help yourself out. And again, we do have ourselves a dude on the map, but I am waiting to get myself some tools. He has lit a... Oh, good. Killed a boar. Fantastic. Good job, buddy. You're far from home. He has lit a stump on fire. <laughs> they can do that for some reason. I don't... I like it. I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. I don't think you're supposed to be able to do it. So while he's killing that boar, we need to take care of him. And I know, I know, I know, changing your guys from being one thing to another is bad business. But you know what? Mr. Humph we got two Humphreys, don't we? Humphrey Black and Humphrey Lawrence. He's not doing anything. He can go and kill some stuff. He's a really good archer, so I don't want to mess with that in the future, though. He's also a really good infantry guy. So maybe he's just our infantry guy from here on out. You know what? He is. Because I want him to be. All right. Um, let's see here. You can operate siege weapons. Let's go ahead and give you... Got some armor. You don't... Ooh, got a broadsword. All right. Well. All right, buddy. Let's get you going. I want you to come that way. Yep, and he's headed that way. We're going to send him on a mission. Game is going to get harder. From what I read in 1.3, it's going to get harder early on, so infantry is just as important as builders and all that stuff. I like to build right away, though. I'm one of those guys. I like to start building stuff as soon as I can. 
So we don't have a builder anymore, but we do have a blacksmith and we do have ourselves a carpenter. And I'm just collecting enough stuff to, to get going on some rudimentary housing. So let's see here. We do want to craft ourselves some building materials and that would be wood planks. And you can get two for one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add five, which is technically times two. So that's 10. I'm going to add, we're going to build ourselves a wooden house for the carpenter. Also, I hear fire is a really big thing here. So if you light the carpenter's house on fire, it's going to get interesting real quick. I don't know how early that's going to get adopted into the game. So it's just as important to have field stone. So let's see here. Let's try to map out. No, actually, before we do that, let's go check out our guy. Where is he at? Alright, he's coming over here. Oh, you took a really long way to get there. Is he using the road? I think he is, actually. Yeah, he's using the road. That's awesome. He used the road to get there. Well, buddy. Keep using that road. What's really cool about the road is as he walks across it, see how that wasn't that wasn't green? Let's see. Let's see if I can show you. So all this is green. See, that wasn't green, but it is now. Ooh, pickaxe. Let me go ahead and pause the game real quick. We do need to get some tools going. Uh, stone pickaxe. Again, carpenter, blacksmith, stonemasons can all make them. We got plenty of stuff. These are really good to keep on hand as well. I'm going to make 15 for Ophelia there. She's going to use all of them. So there you go. See how that just breaks down the, the path there? I like that. I think that's really cool. It's a nice little uh, feature there. Surely there's been one created by now. Okay, cool. If you right-click on those notifications, they go away. Let's see. If I click here, is he going to continue to use the road? Is he going to take a turn? Oh, that is so awesome. Why have I never noticed that until now? Cool. Pathfinding. Ooh, level 4 carpenter. Very good job. Good job. All right, see how that guy's right there? We're just going to beeline straight towards him. It's good to get rid of these guys early. Where are you going, buddy? So his line of sight is just regular. There's nothing special about it. Oh, he failed at crafting a stone pickaxe. Sorry, buddy. Where are you going? You better leave that sheep alone. It's my sheep. Will he get to the sheep in time to save it? Stay tuned after this commercial break. Actually, we're not taking an actual commercial, but that's how it would be done in, you know, old TV. Old cereals, as they would call them. All right. Oops. Do a little bob and weave in action. Leave the sheep alone. So at some point... Let's see. I'm going to tell him to come there. I don't know how far away he's going to see him. I don't know what the line of sight is because at some point he's going to turn around. Yep. So I was really close. I was really close. You got to give that to me. Okay. So he spotted him. It's going to pause the game. I have the game pause on uh, enemy of our sight of enemies. And so now they see each other and now he's going to automatically adjust himself to get in combat. And so now they're in combat and he is doing quite the job and he killed him. Man, he killed him. He so up and killed him. Oh, that sucks. Oh, sorry, Humphrey. <laughs> Humphrey Lawrence is slain. The other Humphrey, he's better. He's a level floor blacksmith. Oh, man. I know I probably did something wrong there, people, but uh, I should have used an archer. I should have, but I don't have any rope. Our, uh, our farmer hasn't gotten much uh, flax going on yet so I can't do uh, that plus we don't have ourselves a tailor so you can make rope out of animal hair flax fiber and spider silk how those guys have oh you know why I haven't given them a hunting knife now they can go kill themselves some really nice animals and he passed out in the middle of the field there how about a hunting knife dear sir you can land the field with a hunting knife in hand that's, wait, isn't he supposed to return to the hall when idle? Yeah, so why is he, hmm, 
strange. Well, we're going to have to wait. I'm going to wait until I can get a archer to mess with those guys. Okay. So we lost our builder. <laughs> Day one, late afternoon. That's all it took for Jason to kill one of his people. Oh, boy. That's lame. Let's see here. Um, can we build a stone bench? We don't have a stonemason, so new. No. <laughs> I would build uh, benches around here, kind of like this. It'd be very nice. So they would sit in them. A pennant banner, those are nice too. But we don't need any of that stuff right now. Hmm. No animal hide, nor do we have any cloth. But resting, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll put a wood chair right there for that guy. Build himself a chair to sit in, and sit and admire his work. Should sit in that chair when idle, or at least take a little bit of a sabbatical. If not, I just built a chair for nothing. Eh, not enough for nothing, he will gain the experience. Nope, he's going to return to the hall, because he don't want no chair. He don't want no chair. That's right. I said it. He's going to sit in the chair, though. He's like, screw you. You're not going to sit in the chair. I'm going to sit in the chair. Sitting in the chair. <laughs> good job, Humphrey. You are the good Humphrey. You're the smart one. I know what you're up to. Stonemason. Okay. Well, we don't have a builder. Not anymore, at least. Um, You're a decent builder there. Do we dare build? I know people will be like, you don't need to build. But I want to build. Come on, guys. I want to build. I think we'll just wait. I think we'll wait until we get somebody else. Can I not select this guy while he's sitting down? Okay, I can. Dude, why are you just passed, <laughs> you just passed out in the field? Let's see. Let's check on everybody. How you doing, Lewis? Up to almost level 5. Fantastic. Just doing some level grinding. See? Nicole, man, farming, farming's tough. Farming takes a lot of hard work. She is clumsy, though. So far, she hasn't broken any of the tools. How many uh, hoes do we have? Oh, we should probably go ahead and I'll make five hoes there. For her, we've gone through the pickaxes a little bit, so we'll build three of those. How about hammers? Stone hammers, we still got plenty, but I'll go ahead and build three of those as well. And I think... No need for a blacksmith just yet. Fishing pole is going to become very important. One of those foragers will eventually become a fisherman. Let's figure out which one will be the fisherman. Do you have any fishing experience? No. How about you, guy passed out in the field? Do you have any fishing experience? You do. So, Zach Forge will now be Zach... Um... I don't, I don't want to call him Carp because then Carp is my sort of go-to last name for Carpenter. Um, Zach Realman. He is our real man. And the other guy can be Forge. Oh, uh, Lewis Sutton. You've got a nice name. I'll keep your name. Ophelia Carp. She was originally supposed to be a Carpenter. But life took another direction. She is now a Miner. Are you all done? Yes, you are. All right. Well, Ophelia, do me a favor. Take care of those. Nope. Stay where you are. Turn around. There you go. See, that is the halt button. She was going to the hall because she is idle. Not anymore, though. Let's see. Let's go ahead and select that. And go ahead and let's flatten this out. This will basically become to care of that as well this is going to become a row of houses so they're all going to have a nice view of the lake it is becoming dusk it is late so i'm going to right click and add some logs to the fire and i think really the only person that's going to have a decent house away from the lake is the farmer we'll put it uh, i think maybe we'll put it here put the nice farm here or maybe put it up here i don't know keep this farmland 
So let's see here. This is the pumpkin farm. You can tell it to not reseed, which is pretty nice. If you don't want to uh, reseed after harvest, that way you can make that another um, little section there. Did she ever get to my... Yeah, she never... Maybe she never planted those. I don't know what those supposed to be up there. The flaxseed. Hey, I need flaxseed, lady. Can you go ahead and take care of that for me? Farming designations cannot overlap. She did not do that. Yeah, she she never planted that. How about you plant that for me, Nicole? When you're done with that, I will send you over here to plant my flax seed. Head over there and do my flax seed, would you? Oh gosh. There you go. That guy's making such a commotion. Let's do a, a buddy system check here. This guy is up to something. What? What? What are you doing over here? What the heck? What the heck? Dude. Um... Well, you're gonna... Someone's gonna have to be infantry. How about you do that, buddy? Equip optional armor. Um... Bronze. I, I don't... Is iron bronze? I can't remember. Alright. Get him. Kill him. Oh, son of a biscuit. Ah. You gotta be kidding me. This is brutal. Alright. Come get you some. All right. Well, you're you're gonna get all infantryed up. Infantry up. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get attacked from all angles, buddy. All right. Let's do this. Come get some. That's right. Can't handle two of them. Yeah. Booye. Take that, you SOB. Let's go ahead and pause that game. There's no way he's... See, and that's why it's going to be important. That's why right here, I'm going to have myself a fence. We're going to build ourselves a fence. Man, where did he... It's kind of dark, but... Is he the only one? I think maybe he was the only one. I think he was the one that killed. So, man, Goblins 2, <laughs> JPT 1, after a while. Hmm. Very strange. Well, good job. Resources. I need to know... Oh, wait. We already look at logs. Really could use some torches, too. That's the other thing. Let's see here. <laughs> it's at the very bottom. We don't have any cloth. That's part of the problem. We don't have any flax. We don't have any cotton yet. We have a little bit of wool. So that will come in handy. So again, I don't think this is how crazy things are going to be early on. But this is kind of what you can expect. I mean, I would say I'm a sort of quote-unquote veteran player here no <laughs> I wish I had a catapult to load you into you doucher um I don't remember what you know what you're Thomas you're not Tomas <laughs> you're Thomas uh carp I think you're our original carpenter so Sometimes you just gotta change professions. I, someone got got in an argument with me about changing professions, and it's just kind of like I know it sucks, but I have to do it. Sometimes it's necessary, but oh well. Um, I think we may have to get a blacksmith going, people. I think we may have to, uh, simply due to the fact that we need better armor, because what we have isn't gonna work. Um, we don't have any offhand weapons and we don't have any boots. 
And so I think we may just have to uh, switch this guy back to being his uh, good old blacksmith self and build ourselves a stone forge. So let's see here. Let me click off that. And workshops, stone forge. All right. Well, our carpenter is going to be there, which means... Hmm. How big is this house going to be? So let's see. I think there's going to be an option to add a grid to this because sometimes it is hard to tell where things are and I like to be able to count. So um, I think I'm going to build his house. Essentially, if you really need to, you can just do it out of sand. So I think his house is going to be like here. Oops, let me get rid of that. I'm going to show you. If you've never seen this trick before, when you're building, you can build a square. And if you hold down Alt, it will do the perimeter. So that is going to be an 8x8. Eight eight. I don't like that. I like keeping things on the odd side of things. It just makes building a little bit easier. So if we were to do that... We could build him a bed in the corner there. So if that's going to be his house there, where is the beds? Let's see, structures, furniture, bed. Oh no, beds are three, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. Well, um, uh, I guess we'll have to get rid of that chair. We'll get rid of that chair at some point. Um, actually, no. No, 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 no. Let's see. Build. Sand. And the game is paused. I understand that. Pause the game. Just pause the game. If you if you need to take a breather, you need to think about something, pause the game. I'm not going to blame you for it. I do it all the time. So, yeah. 7x7 seven seven there. And, you know, you got to do some future planning here. So we'll put the bed there, and the chair can maybe go in the corner. I think my wife is home. So then the next building, let's see. I'm going to build his out of raw stone. I think the foundation will be raw stone. Um, I'm going to keep three in between each one. He's going to have a elongated house like five by nine. Oh, that's not gonna work. I want to make different houses for everyone so everyone's gonna have sort of different looking houses um, seven seven by nine yeah that'll be his house right there seven by nine so what I can do is I can build his forge inside that workshops stone forge water barrel and stone anvil perfect Okay, so I'm going to put the forge there, the water barrel here, and the stone anvil next to it, and unpause it. Those guys should go right after that. The dead body there. Let the body hit the floor. So while they're doing that, I'm going to take a quick commercial break and be right back. All right, I am back. Let's see... Why didn't he finish that? Oh, because he walked through it. Hey, buddy, we're doing stuff here. It's going to probably be really close to the end of the episode anyways. So, um, again, two guys. We're down to six. We're down to the original six. <laughs> this game just wants me to play with six people, which makes it so infinitely harder, which is ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, his body there, Humphrey. I miss you like the flower needs the rain. You know I'll need you. Not I miss you, it's I need you, I know. <laughs> I figured that out halfway as I was singing. Oh boy. Well, now he's sitting in his chair there and he's gonna get to work and we're gonna right click on this bad old boy. We gotta rename the forge. It's not a stone forge anymore. It's Pigeon Forge. <laughs> and both those guys can use it in the meantime. I'm not too worried about it. Um, and it is powered by coal. <laughs> 
Let's see, do we have any resources that I can start crafting? Hmm, we got three iron ingots. I don't know. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get this guy to work. Got seven of those bad boys. Got plenty of copper for him to get busted out on. So yeah, we'll build ourselves some uh, some more armor as he gets going on that. So that is going to do it for this episode of Timber and Stone. Appreciate you watching. Leave those comments, leave those likes, and of course subscribe if you are new to my whole channel. Lots of other things going on in this YouTube channel. Some Minecraft stuff, so if you are a fan of Minecraft and want to check that out, by all means do that. If you want more information about the game, it's timberandstonegame.com. Check out the forums, a very, very helpful resource. So until next time, this is JPT, and I'll be seeing you.